Hey, good morning guys, Dan H, and today on the project we are saying goodbye to an old friend. This 2016 Ford Explorer is going back to the dealership today. The lease is up, and I figured I'd give it a little tribute video, show you guys around it, and uh, give it some thanks for, uh, for having a safe three years of driving for me and my family. So, I'll show you around it a little bit, I'll take you with me throughout the day, and uh, we'll send this thing off with a bang. <laughs> Not really a bang, I don't want to crash. Knock on wood. All right. So this is a 2016 Ford Explorer. It is an XLT model and it was leased from Newins Bayshore Ford. Um, I can't complain, I really like this thing a lot. There are no issues in this thing whatsoever. This is the second Explorer we leased. The first one we leased in 2013 and it was a 2014 model. This, I don't have the keys, I am locked out. Talking about ruining the flow of a video. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we got our keys. I'm gonna show you the inside of the vehicle. And one of the coolest things I like about this car is you don't need the key to get in. You just hold it up next to it or in your pocket and it automatically unlocks. So, good stuff to have. Um, all right, inside, standard black interior. Very nice. Um, we got the captain's chairs center and the third row is folded down right now. But a very nice third row too. So, this was a great vehicle, and we're going to push start it, and once this leaves the driveway, it is out of the house forever. All right guys, we are on the road, and yes, I said I had no issues with this Explorer, but there was one issue that I want to talk about with you in a minute. It was actually more of an adventure. Uh, the other issue is the two chips in the windshield, and these can't be repaired. It has to be replaced. Ford will still charge you for the cost of a windshield, because even repaired chips are still noticeable. So I went through my Geico insurance to have Safe Light come to my house yesterday, and I guess Geico dropped the ball because Safe Light showed up to do a repair not a replacement, and Keiko left me high and dry trying to schedule me an appointment for next week. Well, that's not going to cut it because this thing had to go back today. So, uh, Safe Light scheduled me for an in-house appointment. I'm going to them now. We're going to get this fixed, and uh, as soon as I drop off Ford, I'm leaving Geico, going to Allstate. Actually, Ryan, the guy who I sold the 20-inch sport wheels that were on this thing to, uh, he works for Allstate, and I gotta switch over after 13 years with Geico. I'm gonna try out Allstate. And Ryan actually has one of the sickest Ford Explorer sport tracks I've ever seen. It's an Adrenaline Edition. Check out these pictures. I wanna get them on the channel to do a walk around, if they'll let me. That thing is pretty sweet. So, I'm gonna hit the highway now, and, uh, and I'll check in with you in a minute. All right, so the other issue I had with this Explorer was a couple blowouts. Now, the one that takes the cake actually centers around a Jeep. A few years back, we were on vacation down south, and I won a salvage auction for a police model Cherokee that I needed to build for my brother. Because he wrecked his XJ about a week before his deployment, I told him not to worry about it, I'd build him a new one, and he'd have a Jeep waiting for him when he got home. So I won this auction, and I actually towed it home with this Explorer, and we got a blowout in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I had to change the tire in 100 degree weather on the side of the highway, sweating bullets, <laughs> with the Explorer packed to the gills with luggage, and the Jeep filled to the brim with parts. It was definitely the craziest tire change I ever did. It was actually a double change because I blew a rear tire out, and you can't put a donut on a rear tire when you're towing stuff. So I put the donut on the front, and put the full size on the back. It was definitely unforgettable and a great memory. So, yep, now we're gonna go find Safe Light and take care of these chips. 
We are looking for safe light. Come on, safe light. Safe light repair, safe light replace. I guess I'll just pull right over here. All right, we're here. I'll see if I can pick the brain of the window installer. If not, I'll just show you the finished product. All right, let's go in. All right, the Explorer's in the bay. They're starting to work on it. Uh, the technician is Sean. Sean actually has a ton of XJs. Him and his sons both have XJs. How cool is that? He's a real cool guy, and he's gonna let me film him and pick his brain a little bit. So, let's start the work. All right, guys, so here is the chips on the old glass. And here's the new windshield, nice and laid out. Let's begin. <laughs> Ford made a really cheesy break off and then you got to replace them. Really? Yeah. I'm glad it didn't break. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. That's it? I didn't know that. Wow. So you just you just break them right off and unscrew them, chuck them in the garbage. Are these one of the easier windshields to change, or yeah? Usually break off. You don't take them off, right? Wow. I'm sure in the winter time it's uh, probably a pain to do this stuff. Yeah. Got to heat it all up. What is that contraption? This is what we call our easy wire system. It, uh, you feed the wire around the outside of the glass, and this pulls the wire back from to the inside of the glass, and the string is actually what cuts the glue. That's no way. Really cool. Power of Kevlar. <laughs> yeah. Sure beats smashing it with a hammer. Oh, yeah, then you got that. <laughs> The whole thing is not scratching it. Wow. Scratch it, you know, you run the risk of rust. Right. Scratch it. I had a spring had a ninety-three Cherokee that was so rotted that you couldn't attach a windshield to it anymore. There was nothing left. My son had one too. Yep. Yep, rained real hard one night. The whole interior was soaked, went to start it up, and fried, puff of smoke. Yeah, that was the end of that one. All suction power, huh? Yeah, it's really the only way to really hold anything onto the glass. Which is like the glass is super smooth. It's yeah. The problem if it's the windshield's cracked and broken up too much, you can't do it. Ah. Uh, so windshields are laminated glass, right? It's yes. Two pieces of glass with some plastic in them. And that prevents uh, from shattering on you, right? Yeah, well, keep objects from coming through, right? Right. But not the, uh, the side windows, right? Those are these are tempered glass. Oh, this is laminated too. Oh, look at that. Laminated. Laminated. Laminated glass. Now, if you had to have a project car, you could cut laminated glass, right? Yeah. Although it's flat glass, of course. Right. Old GC days and 
<laughs> That's so cool. So what happens to the glass when uh, when it's out? Chuck it? Recycle uh, it? We have a recycling program. Okay, that's good. The, the glass all goes back to our warehouse and it gets shipped off. Most likely it goes into asphalt and... Really? It's asphalt? A, it's a rough recycle. It's not making new glass. Right, right, right. Shame you gotta trash a whole windshield just for two little chips, you know? Unless you're really going to be handing it back. Right. Selling it or usually if you're going to hand it back and get another one from them. They forgive you a little, you a little bit. Again. No. I was done with the payments, so. <laughs> and so, cleaner degreaser to make it stick? Uh, yeah. You, know, you want to eat the pack me. Yeah. Nothing seems to work better than the old magic eraser plant. Yeah. That's you awesome. Get rid of all the fingerprint oils and release agents. What's the biggest enemy you try to steer clear of from when you uh, do windshields? Like the thing that could ruin your job the worst? Fingerprint can ruin it. That's it. You know, yeah. Like glue doesn't adhere. So having stuff not stick at, at all costs. Having the glue not in the right place. So wearing gloves is definitely a must. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Both surfaces have to be cleaned down, scrubbed, fingerprint free. <laughs> These are designed to not be able to do this. <laughs> the trick is the torch? The trick is the torch, but not too much torch. Because sometimes you still get the little uh -huh. it goes void. But glass out of the car, you're not fighting with the dashboard and the glass together. Right. Everything a little blade, a little heat. A little heat. And you don't want anything of these, right? Nah, that's garbage. Pretty cool. Whose playlist is this? You guys are ripping awesome music. I'm definitely gonna get copyright bagged if, is, <laughs> if I put this on YouTube. It's it's um it's Prime Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Prime. This is Sweet. Like, this is my like classic rock Wow. It's like the factory doesn't. It doesn't get much more consistent than that. Yeah, you can't do that by hand. That is a the mark of a true professional. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <clears throat> so you guys do a ton of Ford Explorer windshields? Um, you know, some, there'll be times I'll be doing a couple a week, and there'll be times like I haven't done one of these in yeah. months. Oh, okay. So we have, right now the three of us in shop, and we have seven, eight guys on the road, so we do get them in. Nice. What's the uh, the worst windshield you hate doing? Yeah. When so someone says I got a blank and you roll your eyes and you're like, no. Uh, 80 something Corvettes. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but sometimes the answer to that too is not one car could be the easiest car in the world for you, but the guy who did it before you screwed it all up. Right, you gotta like, like any, any, any other job. fix other people's mistakes. Do you have a favorite windshield? Uh, I'm Toyota CRV. Yeah? I seem to do more of those than any we know. It's like tying your, tying your shoes. Deep Wranglers. Good, yeah. Deep Wranglers. 
They break a lot, right? The new ones? Oh. Really? That's the money maker right there. Oh, you think Jeep would have done something about that glass, you know? Uh, they do have a Gorilla Glass option. Really? From the factory? I don't know if it's from the factory, but they do sell it. They sell it. Yeah, that, that's a must upgrade. So if someone locks their keys in their car and they have to punch a window out. Look for the smallest one. Punch the smallest window. Cheapest one, the small window. Like this? Like that one. <laughs> That's funny. Brand new safe light trim. That's it. You cleaning my windows for me? Thank you. What kind of spray is that? It smells delicious. Uh, well, this is Safe Light <laughs> glass cleaner, but it's actually manufactured by Sprayway. If you go to any hardware store, any cleaning aisle of any store. Yeah. Sprayway. Is Sprayway. Only Sprayway. I'm on your free, streak free. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't see any streaks at all. Safe for everything. Inside and outside. Inside and out. Sweet. Costco, Man. Sam, they all sell three and four packs of it. Look at that stuff. <laughs> the water spots, completely gone. We do sell it also for $4.99 a can. Do you? Yeah. Is that better than Walmart? Uh, I, I, I doubt it. <laughs> Start to finish there, <laughs> That's right? it, Sean. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's a pleasure watching a true professional. Um, but number directly to the store. Any questions while you still have it, just give a call right Fantastic. away. Fantastic. Um, Thank you. I guess it's already washed, so. It's good to go, right? You're good to go. You don't think they'll give me any shit? <laughs> nah, not at all. It's beautiful. It's yeah. Beautiful, so. Yeah, sad to see it go. Yeah, they all go. Something they all go, right? So. Thanks Again, a lot. No problem, anything at all. Just give a call right away. Will do, buddy. All right, we're back on the road again. We just left Safe Light, and that was an awesome install by Sean. Thank you so much, man. You did a great job. This thing is beautiful. Look at that. And he did it quick, too. I think the whole thing was only like 45 minutes once we got in the bay. So thank you, Sean. And uh, I'm going to continue this drive. We're going to go to New Winds Bayshore Ford, and we're going to say goodbye to this thing. So I guess we'll check in when we get there. This really was a great vehicle. I'm definitely sad to see it go. Ooh, turkey. <laughs> so yeah, a uh, little uh, intention span of a mouse. Jeez, I don't know. Here we are. All right, guys, that is it. Say goodbye to the Explorer. Got our plates off. Do a final mileage check. About 32,000 miles. Well under the allotted 36,000 miles. And you know what? Do one last french fry check. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's clean under there, you know? You know how those french fries can get away from you. <laughs> All right, so that's it. I'm gonna power this thing down. Lock her up, say goodbye. And jump right into our new Mustang. Yeah, I wish. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my 2016 Ford Explorer, and that's a wrap for this video. So thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again on the next project. Peace.
Bridge. Our bridge is Shh, I'm videoing. Oh. Say bye bye, Dada's car. <laughs> <laughs>